Greetings, everybody. Welcome to Ginza. This is the center of Tokyo. And over there is, is some um, food trucks. This is called Tea Lunch, which is a, a food truck market. And it's pretty central. Again, it's only a couple of hundred meters away from uh, the center of Ginza, maybe even less than that. And it's been here since, I believe, 2019. But since um, this pandemic hit, it's been more popular to eat at food trucks. And this time we're going to be checking out some of the delicious offerings that they have here. Um, and learn a little bit about this place because I have passed here many times, but I've never actually eaten here. How you doing, everybody? Welcome to lunchtime in Tokyo. Um, uh, this is kind of a, just a parking lot that I guess they're going to do something with it later in a couple of years. Right now, it's just a, a empty spot that a company, um, what is the name of the company? Mellow is, is what the co company's called. And they, they kind of co consolidate all of the food trucks into this one website. And there's a, a couple other locations just like this around the city. So I'm going to go and check it out uh, and see. They have an app application uh, for your smartphones as well. That's kind of cool. And I, I'm digging this tree right here. All right, back to the heat. Um, I don't see any Japanese food here. Again, like, I guess for lunch, you're going to eat Japanese food for dinner if you're a family man. Because your wife or your husband is going to cook you Japanese food. It's just like, it's part of the deal, right? So, it looks like a lot of the food here is, um, I don't know. We got Indian, which is spicy uh, curry naan. And it looks like we have tacos rice. Is that what that is? I don't know, but they have a, uh, an egg on top of there. This one is like a beef and... Wow, this one looks so good. I think I've seen this truck before. Um, some of these trucks come from famous restaurants that also aren't doing well restaurant-wise, so they, they end up um, having a food truck and they go to the people, and that makes a lot of sense. See, Michael Sasano is already here. So excited for this food truck live stream. Find something interesting to try. I'm already looking at that truck over there because there's nobody there and I feel bad for them. <laughs> That's how my stomach thinks. This meat one looks pretty good. Let's go take a look at the menu here. Wow. So this food truck comes all the way back from 2006. They have um, all sorts of beef offerings. This is beef over rice for $8.50. I'm going to say 100 yen is a, um, a $1, but it's really 110 to $1. So you can do the conversion in your heads. Chicken over rice, which looks in incredibly good too. It's a little bit cheaper. And there's a special set where they mix it up. And then a lady's size. I'll tell you something, Kanai could probably eat the, the full size. So I think some ladies are want to eat a little bit something delicious and but watching their weight maybe, I don't know. That's kind of cool. And they have um, a special set here. Here's a Singapore, eh, Singapore rice? Singapore chicken rice. This looks really good too. It's a hard choice. This is um, white. Brown, I guess it's the color of the chicken. Uh, a mix, steamed and roasted chicken. And then you have different kinds of options here. Um, it's part of the Mr. Chicken group, <laughs> which is pretty cool. Hey, Brandani is in the house. Brandani is looking for some food as well. Oh, this looks like deep fried stuff. Hello. Oh, what is she saw? Fried chicken. Fried the chicken. Yeah. Japanese fried the chicken. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> This looks really good too. The smell coming from here is amazing. And this one is um, deep fried chicken with, look at the sauce. So look at that sauce on top of that. That looks so good. This one is so far my, my favorite. And then this one is a uh, fried chicken box. Oh, wow, look at that. That looks so delicious. I like the fact that the menus are so visual. Oh man, that looks great. Wow. Meat, meat, meat. Ta, uh, tara tara sauce. Oh, ato negi shio lemon sauce. The ponzu. Oh. <laughs> that made them laugh. This is a backpacker's kitchen. So we're gonna just gonna look around and then I think I'm gonna go back to that chicken place because I might try more than one. I'm pretty hungry. This is the original um, tacos rice. Look at the egg on top of that. It's like the um, Hanjuku Tamago, right? The, the onsen egg or half-boiled egg on top of that. That looks wonderful. 
these have avocado and avocado makes everything a little bit better uh, the prices are reasonable too about eight dollars for one of these i like the little truck and the design on it jalapeno peppers 100 100 yen more i, I can dig that and uh, it comes in a little box lunch there's a park over there that you can also we're gonna get a chance to eat it at as well jennifer french is here bon appetit john are you looking forward to the paralympic games i am I'm trying to keep my hunger up, my, my uh, stomach full, so I have the energy to cover it. And James Riley, thank you. Nice to see James here. This is the avocado spam don. So there's spam on it. That's really unique. I'm kind of digging that too. Spam has been uh, uh, seen at, at Family Mart, the convenience store. They have rice balls, onigiri with spam right now. And that gentleman's over there getting a, a lunch here. All right, the last, last food truck here is um, wow, they're making the non fresh. Sugoi. That's awesome. So they make the bread fresh. That's a big selling point for me. And non is made by putting it inside of the uh, big oven inside of there, inside of the center, as, and on the, on the walls of the. Go there, that's pretty cool. Uh, this is a non, uh, non and curry for $6.50. 650 yen. That's a pretty good price. All right, I'm gonna. I just want the naan. All right, let's go back and get that fried chicken. And we'll we'll see if we can try a couple of things. I really do appreciate the support here. Oh, let me see if I went to the. Okay, I got enough cash for this son. Yay! Susume wa nan desu ka? Hi. はい。はい。あ、本当ですか。じゃあこれ、そうそう。え、さす、どうしよう。まあ、あ、味がついてます。あ、なるほど。まあ、じゃあ、それ、タルタルソースも食べてみます。あ、これ撮影大丈夫
。おお。あ、店ありますか。阿佐ヶ谷。ああ、なるほど、中央線。all right。ありがとうございます。Awesome. All right, let's go eat this. There's a park nearby.、Um, I want to just, there's no place to sit. So I think that's kind of a good thing. You kind of have to、uh, leave the area a little bit. But we'll be back here in a couple of minutes. The chicken's sticking out of this thing. Hey, Tony P, get one of everything. <laughs> Tony, you understand my expanding waistline does not agree with you. Oh, vending machine. Vending machine. The humidity is not as bad today as it, it's been in the past. I, look at this thing! It's massive! The volume of the Tony, I, I think I did a mistake. I picked this one first. I should have picked this one last. Alright, let me get, I'm gonna put this down here. Let's keep it hot. The sun will, the sun will keep that roasting. Alright, what do we got here?、Um, we have the Itoen、uh, tea. Let's see here. t h e r e smaller versions. Everything is cold. There's no hot in here right now. In the winter, or in the, the, around fall, they'll start to, to turn on. Oh, I like the、um, Tan San Sui. Okay, I'm going to go Tan San Sui. Wait. Oh, these machines aren't connected. I got to do cash for this one. All right, I'm going to go touchless. I'm just going to get the tea here. Oh, hey! That's a pretty cool design for the、uh, Ito NT. Little Tokyo action going on in there. Culture versus the city. Sky trees in there, too. All right. Got something to wash it down with. Thanks, guys. This is the team effort. You guys are the team. I'm just the one who gets to eat this. All right, I found a park around the corner here. And again, like. I love to go to the food trucks、uh, because it's usually、uh, entrepreneurs, small business people who invested in a truck to try to take their food to other locations. And I asked him where he has his、uh, shop. Now, a, lot of these, a lot of these food trucks also, there's some food trucks that are simply food trucks, but a lot of them are restaurants that are trying to, to, get, their audience, trying to get an audience to come to their shops. His shop's in Asagaya, which is on the Chuo line. And that's.、Um, that's I think it's two stops away from Kichi Joji on the express train. Mitaka is also on the way. That's where the Ghibli Museum is. So if you stop in Asagaya on the way to Ghibli Museum, you might be able to get a, ma a massive. Look at the chicken sticking out of it! Alright, this park looks、uh, friendly. Check it out. It's also available, so. And there's a trash can, which is very rare. So I'm already digging this food truck because. This food truck area, because they have a park right nearby. Food Garage Company. Restaurant service. It's interesting. All right. I guess that's the name of the restaurant. All right. Here we go. We're going to open it up and I'm going to show you. Eric rates in yay for trash can. <laughs> that's pretty funny. Here we go. Three, two, one. Oh my gosh. This is insane. I don't think I needed the tartar sauce. Let's just say it's a little bonus for my cholesterol level here. John Kimura is digging this. I got to go back now to. For John, James Riley, thank you again. And、uh, Second Breakfast is enjoying. I'm gonna go get, maybe I'll go try to get that non there. Thank you guys. And Ghost is back as a new traveler. Okay, this is crazy. I'm so hungry now. I, I have an、um, extension for my tripod here, so I'm gonna put this up so then you don't have to look up my nose as I eat this. Oh no, I forgot the extension stick. I just happen to have a lot of other tripods. All right, that'll be fine. There's nothing wrong with looking up my nose.、And、finding the best seed is very important. I think, actually, this might be better.
We got a bus for a background. Oh my. I like this area because we were kind of, there's nobody around. It's kind of social distanced uh, easy so I could take off my mask and kind of relax it here. You hear the sound? That's the sound of summer. And no pigeons here either. Check it out. Wow, all right. So I'm gonna go over this a little bit more in detail. The tartar sauce is on two, two different kinds of chicken. He, he wanted me to, um, this is the combination platter, his recommendation. I put some chili sauce there. I can smell that chili sauce. Oh, it is spicy. And on the, on the side here, there were, there's a little bit of potato salad and a little bit of vegetables. And I think, I'm not sure what that is over there. Some um, translucent looking noodles but it might go good with this uh, amazing deep fried dish that's not the healthiest, but it does look incredible. And I wanted to get something, I wanted to get something Japanese. It just, for lunch, Japanese is not that popular because people eat that for dinner, as I was saying. You gotta stay hydrated. Ah, uh, Ituan makes really good tea. Itadakimasu. Let's try this. Uh, I'm, pretty, I'm pretty excited about this. Ah, uh, where do you even start? Let's go right for this. What's in front of me? This has two kinds of sauce on it. I don't know if you can see this, but the oil is just, I gotta turn it around. The oils are just leaking out of it. This is so juicy, so tender. Wow. I love this. The price was um, 1,100 yen or about $11. Probably about $10 with the exchange rate right now. Let's check out the, let's try the rice here. Hmm. Japanese rice, pretty good. Um, wow. What? So he, they didn't really cut the piece of chicken. Look at that. They didn't really cut it. It's just the way it is. You have to pick it up with your chopsticks like this and just num num on it. Mmm. The tartar sauce is good. Yeah, I think you needed the tartar sauce. A little bit of um, creamy consistency with the crispiness of the deep fried uh, skin around it is really good. Excellent potato salad. Very nice. How many calories are in this? I don't know. I don't wanna know. Don't tell me. Keep that to myself. Oh, this looks like a little karage. Kind of deep fried, very deep fried. Looks like there's some black pepper in the batter, which is interesting. Now, yeah. very good. <laughs> pepper and bebop right in here. I'm more excited about this video than all the Olympic videos combined. 
Thanks a lot. <laughs> really? Hey, but you know what? These food trucks, will, they'll be here next week. The Olympics, not going to be here for like 50 years probably. It's the way it rolls. I have no regrets on covering the Olympics. It's very controversial. I had fun. And I was curious. I'm curious about a lot of things. And that the games... You know, if, if anyone asks me 20 years in the future, what was it like the Tokyo 2020 Olympics? I can give them a pretty good answer because I was out there kind of absorbing it as much as I could. All right. So this flying UFO looking katsu is quite good. I think it's chicken. I don't remember if it was chicken or pork. But it has a lot of sauce on it. And again, that tartar sauce, it really does the creaminess balance out the crispiness and the juiciness. Creamy, juicy, crispy. That's the trifecta of a good uh, katsu. With tartar sauce. Creamy is not one of them, is it? Mmm. So this is, um... This bridge going by here. This is Higashi Ginza. So it's about from Higashi Ginza to Ginza Yonchame. It's about a five minute walk. So it's not too far away. It's just interesting though, because it's just interesting though, because just five minutes away, you're in the, one of the most expensive uh, areas of Tokyo where you can't find street food really a little bit. It's mostly like like snacks and stuff, but these food trucks are very popular in the Higashi Ginza area. There are a lot of a lot of businesses, a lot of salarymen, and not as many places to eat. And this beats a, a convenience store bento. Wow. It's gonna be hard to eat this all. Seriously. It's, this is gonna be this is gonna be really hard to eat. Just rice and tartar sauce. Okay. Kind of the glassy noodles. Mmm. I like that. These noodles here are pretty um, different consistency, different texture with this whole with this whole bento here. Yeah, I'm not showing you my my bicep to to show off how small it is, okay, because of the pandemic. Just bring that back down there. What's next? All right, I think it's the same. I don't know if I can eat anything after this. I will destroy you. Surprised the pigeons haven't founded me. Founded me. <laughs> Where are those pigeons? I'm. I, I hate to admit this. I'm like full. Should I keep going or? Now I know why they have a lady size. Let's just say that they destroy the competition, literally. They give you so much food, you don't, you can't go back for more. 
genius strategy. I need bird friends right now. <laughs> yeah, Mikey Chen could probably do this. Right after he eats all this, he goes right to the gym too. That's how he stays in such good shape. Man's a terminator. So Vegas stopped in there. Huh. Alright, I'll tell you what. If we can get if we can get to six hundred likes and with the generous super chats that we've received, I will try to go back and get one more thing. And I'll eat a little bit of it and take it back home, okay? This way I don't I don't get overweight and I can take something back for Kanai. And maybe I'll buy something for Kanai too. So we need to get the six hundred likes. And I will take you to another food truck. Community. Our Kanai just wrote in that she already ate lunch, so. We'll share the second bento together. Come on, feed Kanai. <laughs> I, I think that this massive karage is the winner. Look at how big this is, seriously. This is my head. This is a karage. Do you see? It's about one fifth the size. This is probably the size of my brain. This could be a bird brain, which is why they're not. This could be a bird brain. But it's not. Toby's doing just fine, unfortunately. That dude can fly away. You know who's doing fine? The mosquitoes. Stop eating the minions' brains, John. <laughs> yeah, what do you, there's enough of minions. It's part of an overpopulation problem. Yeah, the mosquitoes are really getting me. All right, we're getting pretty close. We're getting pretty close. Ghost is back and spiking it out. I'm not gonna go talk to Lonely Man, all right? S social distance. We can shout to each other, but we just can't get close. You know, the government didn't say you're not allowed to shout. It just seems, though, that it might be under a different set of rules. Neighborhood rules. Now, the sound you hear are the cicadas. They live about a week, and then they die. We're still 120 legs short. Come on, I, I still have this massive piece of, of, of meat here to eat. These mosquitoes are, are gonna have high cholesterol too, I think. Wow. Bone, small bone. Now you can ask for less rice, by the way. Just it's, it's one of the things that Gohan Tsunami. All right, let's go back for some more. 
80 likes away. It's a race against the clock. I got a bike ride back home and got some exercising to do. Go to other food truck, John. <clears throat> it's up to you. Car still rides in here for some well-deserved mosquito <laughs> melon. There's a Don Quixote not too far away. It's Shimbashi. I might pick some up. Seriously. Um, I see them buzzing around. All right, that's it. No. A little bit of rice left over, but not that much. All right. We're approximately 50 likes away from the next food. Um, you know, a lot of people that come come to Japan, they get the green tea out of the vending machines and they're disappointed because there's no sugar in it. I'm telling you, I think um, pet bottle drinks without sugar is sort of an acquired taste and I, I really like it. And I think it keeps, one of the reasons why Japan is a little bit healthier. I, I think that the soft drinks don't have the sugar in it. And then I went to Hong Kong and they have sugar in the green tea. And I asked a friend, why do they put the sugar in the green tea? They said, if there's no sugar in it, why would they pay for it? Because they can get this tea for free in their house. The sugar is something that has a value. That's one person's take. I'm sure that other people have different takes on it, but I had chrysanthemum tea in Hong Kong and it had more sugar than chrysanthemum. Not so re sugar is not so refreshing in the summer, but that's why I like the bitter tea. Fanta, for example, in Japan has more sugar in it than in America. It's interesting because probably Japan just wanted to be different or the sugar brings out the taste. I don't know, but I'm not a, I'm not somebody who drinks a lot of cola anyway, so I, I don't, I don't know too much. All right, let's go. Wow, that was good tea. Oh man, I'm so oily. Does anybody else use their sleeve as a napkin? No. I figure I'm gonna wash this shirt. That's what Kanai doesn't get, you know, the practicality of it. I'm gonna wash this shirt anyways, so what's it? What's the big deal? Michael says no. The tech owl says no. Really, is it just me? Oh man. Inverted Otaku. Hey, John. It definitely sounds like summer out there. What food are you craving now for the next course? I could go for a croquet right now. You know, can I be honest with you? I'm not craving anything. I'm going because I'm going because you've requested it. And I'm not. Chris writes in here. It leaves stains. Not not on black T-shirts. And this is Uniqlo. Nothing sticks to it. This is um cool te uh, airism, which is a like a. a it, it breathes well, so I'm not as hot as other people wearing black stuff. Yeah. I wish they did have men, men on pond. There are men on pond trucks. I have to tell you, there are men on pond trucks that bake them in the truck. It's quite good. All right, let's get a move on. I 
I wish Taiyaki, Takoyaki was here. It's not. Back to the food truck. Now, for my own health, I'm not going to be eating this so much. I'm taking it home, okay? But I will open it up and give it a sampling while you're here. So, I'm, I'm seriously full. And I get to burn that off riding home and... Oh, oh, deep fried chicken bits grilling in my stomach through the heat. <coughs> oh, man. Oh. I can't do this. Oh. Get in the shade. Seriously, that deep fried chicken stuff was really heavy it's like a brick in my stomach I wish that they had cots or something you know restaurants should have cots or areas especially buffets where people can just sleep it off nobody should be driving on a full stomach that's right KRS walk it off we're two likes away all right, the Singapore chicken looked interesting because in Singapore, it is past lunchtime. Singapore, I think, is two hours ahead. Um, I don't know. Which one should I get to take home? That's a good question. Singapore chick uh, chicken rice would be looks really good. No, but I've got, you know what? And the food trucks are behind me now. I have to say, though, that I've been quite disappointed with, with ethnic food in Japan, in especially Canadian ethnic food. Not too long ago, I had some poutine uh, from a food truck, and it was probably the worst anything I've ever had. It wasn't even poutine. I don't even know what it was. They said it was poutine. It was very disappointing. There was, there wasn't, I don't even think it had cheese curds. Or it had cheese curds, but it was still frozen. All right, what do you think I should get here? Um, Kanai said she, she said that she doesn't want the naan. I can go and film the naan. Let's see. I think we have to order the naan to, to get the food. All right. You know what? I could get the, the curry and that's hard to take back though. How do you take that back on a bicycle? Curry. But then like the tacos rice looks pretty good. Uh, like, I'm, I'm right now sizing this up right now. Taco's rice transports pretty well. And that egg, that half-boiled half egg, it's pretty good. You should invest in restaurant-side cots <laughs> when you retire. You give me a traveling restaurant. That's right. I want the cots in the corner here. And people can pay me 10 yen or something to sleep. 10 minutes. Sounds like a good business idea. <clears throat> That's where I got the deep-fried chicken from before. It was really good. And the Singapore ch uh, chicken here truck and then there's the grilled the beef over rice which looks like the most scrumptious one what do you think Singapore chicken needs to be eaten immediately all right Carrie that's a good call so Singapore chicken has been canceled because I I can't immediately eat that good call Katsu Kats <laughs> who wrote that who wrote that that could be a song Peter Katsu Kats that I, I di I'm digging that. There's no pizza here. There's beef, there's chicken, there's deep fried chicken, there's tacos rice, flair of Mexican, and then there's spice uh, Indian with, and they make the non fresh there. But we actually live next door. I should take you to that restaurant. We live um, across the street from an Indian restaurant that, I, w I wouldn't say across the street, down the street from a place that makes the non fresh too. And they watch only in Japan. And the staff is from, um, I'm not sure where they are exactly. They're from, from uh, Southeast Asia somewhere. But they, they know me. So when I walk by the shop or go running by there, they wave. And I, so I always go back and eat at that shop. I should take you there. Those aren't real tacos. No, they're not. Buy all the naan. All right, it seems like the naan is winning. But the beef over rice just got a vote. Yeah, you know what? I don't know what to do. That's the not that's the non place. You kind of see inside the truck now. He's clean.
cleaning out the, the fan and the, there's the non grill. When I was in Goa, I, we went to a restaurant and they, they let us um, they try to make the, our own naan. That was kind of nice. It's hot in there. All right, I'm going to go with the beef because it, I think it's going to travel better than the curry. But here's the deal. I'll be back here. So apparently the, re, these trucks change every day. So on Wednesday, it'll be the same. It's like that movie Cube as the cubes rotate around, you know. These trucks rotate around. So I'll be back here on another day. That's not Wednesday. And then I'll see what they have here. Because it's this is only oh, what a ten minute bicycle ride for me. All right, I'm gonna take this because I think Kanai would like this the most. And I think that the roasted beef and grilled chicken and half herb rice seems to be the best one. It's nine fifty. I think Kanai will like this. Yeah. A A is just like doing non. All right, let me see if I can just get the naan. You guys are crazy. Did, can I just get one piece of naan? I don't think that's on the menu. <coughs> naan isn't even on the menu. Oh, no, they do have it. Oh, do do I'm not Is that like a chocolate, chocolate naan? All right, now we're talking. There's dessert. All right, I found what I'm getting for dessert. That's chocolate naan. Sometimes if you just look at the menu long enough, you find something pretty, what? Did you see that naan, how big it is? Oh my gosh. I'm coming back here next Wednesday. I can't eat all that. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Hello. <laughs> Mix is okay. Mix is okay. Then mix it. Okay. 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 This is their card here. But Asatsue Daijo is got to showcase. So this is the location and they have three three shops here. How cool is that? Kawasaki. So the main shop is in Kawasaki City. There you go. Alright, that's pretty cool. He's making the naan right now. So I did get the naan, guys. Check it out. This is awesome. This is chocolate caramel naan. Oh, this is awesome. Oh, you put chocolate and caramel in it. This is the greatest day in the history of my stomach. I love naan, I love chocolate, I love caramel. This is win, win, win. in there. This is the place to be in the winter. I don't know about the summer. But they do have a fan going on here. So, I mean, it looks like they have a pretty good system. All right, 
seems like it shouldn't take too long for that cheat the, the chocolate car caramel naan. I, I mixed it. It was about four dollars. And they got cheese naan too. Oh man. This is the greatest day. I haven't had it. Oh, I can smell the naan. Oh, there's a little sweetness to this smell of, of baking bread. Oh, this is the greatest day. All right, this is mine. This is mine. Oh, wow. Hi, Oh, this is awesome. I can eat this on the street. I just find a place to eat this on the street. I can just eat it right here in the shade under this tree. Wow. We got chocolate caramel naan. It is, it smells so amazing. All right, can I put this, this here? I think it's okay. This isn't so stable for the camera. I gotta go to a place where I'm not gonna lose my camera. All right, over here. Oh, I can smell it through the bag. Oh, it's so sweet. This is the best street food. It's like I'm entering like a new world. Naan with caramel and chocolate, what? Do they have this? Do they have this in India too? And I get extra like like uh, hikey gas, like um, exhaust fumes too. This is great. All right, here we go. Oh my gosh, it is hot. Ha! Ah. I have to. I'm gonna have to let this sit for a while. Oh, it smells like Disney World. You know, like Disney, you get the smell of sweet caramel popcorn and. You get, I have that smell right now. Oh, this is good. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Oh, it's too hot. How do they, why do they make it so hot? All right, this is for science here. Check it out. Check it out now. I'm holding it up on the other side of the camera. You can see, or right, pan down, pan down. Oh, this way, this way, there you go. You can see the pieces of caramel are baked into the naan. Oh man, and the chocolate too. This is gonna be, every bite, I'm gonna savor it. I need some kind of like um, vanilla sauce to dip this in. Oh yeah. Lighting is better over here. Yeah. All right. Let's be a man about it. Eat it. It's a little hot, but it's all good. Oh. I have some choco naan. You're not getting, how does that go, the Eddie Murphy one? I have some ice cream, I have some ice cream. Oh, check this out, in the center. You see it? There's like, you can see the caramel in the center of the naan. That is insanity. For caramel lovers. Stick into my teeth. Best street food ever. Frickin' naan. Chocolate. Caramel. Who needs a curry? 
Alright. I do need something to drink. I gotta go I gotta get something to drink. Like a coffee would be good or something. I found a place that might be able to help us out here. It's called Family Mart. Let's see if we can get something real quick. Oh man, that knot is so good. I'm gonna, I don't know. I wanna get something to take back to. Oh, there's a 7-Eleven over there too. It's Family Mart's closer. I'm gonna find my Suica card. Oh, here it is. I'm using this Sugoka card, which is from Kagoshima. I like to be different, what can I say? Royal milk tea would be good with jelly. Starbucks mango yogurt. What? Let's get this one here. All right, mango coconut juice thing. Sounds pretty good. All right, I gotta. Oh, this looks like a more convenient place to eat it here. There's Ginza just straight ahead. The great thing about this is I'm eating it right in front of this Mercedes, this um, Toyota. Mango lassi. I thought it was close to a lassi. It was something interesting. Or different. So big shout out. Thank you, Family Mart, for being here. Because the air conditioning was nice to enjoy. Oh man, I got a massive sugar high. Oh. This is uh, coconut milk and mango. And everybody knows coconut milk is good. You know, I'm gonna have a coffee when I get home and relax with it. I gotta do some exercising after this one. I'm kind of sweating out now oil from the, from the deep fried chicken. Oh, gross. There's like tapioca in it. Oh, what? Wow. Oh, great. 
Look at the little teeny small letters here. Tapioca inside. Excuse me, you should probably put that a lot larger. It's all gonna be okay, cause I have Nama chocolate and caramel. I don't need the stinking tapioca, cause I got, look at this, it's still warm. <laughs> so good. Ah. I like eating the street food like this. You can you can use your head to tear it. Nasha Broad, how do you drink this stuff? It's not even a drink, it's like... Can I jettison the, the tapioca? Maybe if I just drink the top. Alright, if, if I... If I just drink the top, it, it's a lot better. That's pretty good. You know... Coconut milk goes really good with Indian food. Whenever I'm in India, I'll get a coconut, just a coconut vendor nearby, and he he takes his machete and he hacks the thing, and then he gives me a straw and you can drink the coconut milk. Oh, it's not so good. I miss India so much. And then afterwards, the coconut vendor will take, take his machete and hack off a stick. You have to bring back after you drink the milk, uh, all the water inside the coconut milk, uh, coconut, it's not finished. Take it back to the vendor. He hacks off a uh, like a spoon off of the side of it, and then you dig it out the the meat inside of the coconut. A lot of the tourists forget about that part. I see a lot of uneaten coconuts. Oh, this is the greatest non ever. Look at that. Naan has such a mochi mochi consistency. Just, it's just so stretchy. This is the, uh, 400 yen is a good deal for this too. This thing's gonna last me ages. Ah! All right. You guys are making me nervous. Everyone's telling me how I'm gonna get sick from eating all this. You have to take it home. So if, if you don't like the tapioca, you can take the straw and just sip it off the top and let the tapioca settle. It's quite a refreshing drink without the, those balls in there. It's like drinking BBs. I don't think a half marathon is enough to burn this off. I'm gonna have to go to a, a, for a full marathon. Bad boba. <laughs> One sn snuck in there. Best way is just to get a smaller straw like this. All right, who else does this? I, I used to, I, use, I like to eat my food with teaspoons, not with the regular size spoons. I just enjoy it better when it's in a smaller spoon. So I, I always use like the little teeny spoons that they give you um, on the airplanes. Like really, it just tastes better. Soup, whatever, curry rice. You eat less, it lasts longer, makes the meal last longer. It works with straws too. I don't like these big super straws. I like the straws that are the stirrers for the um, coffee. 
<laughs> so when I was a kid, I would, I would um, take out the straw from McDonald's and I would drink my my cola f with the coffee stirrer straw because it, I would, it would last longer. I like how they make the coffee stirrers into straws, and there were two. It was like double barreled, so you would have um, like a left and a right, I believe. It's been a while since I've done that. Because in Japan, they just use like bamboo or something. Ah, it's like you're eating it. All right, you know what? I gotta throw this away. I, it, most of it's gone. God, I can't stand this boba stuff. You know what? You know, where is it? Does, tapioca is not even indigenous to Japan. Where does this stuff come from? They started putting tapioca on pizza recently. I can't find that trash can. In, in the city centers, they'll put the, the trash can near the register so then people are less likely to throw their trash away, more likely to take it home. Oh, man. Oh, I need a taxi to get back to my bicycle. Oh. And my bike's just over there. give our compliments to the chef <laughs> that was so good it was all so good and you know what the best part of it tomorrow they got totally new food trucks here they got different food trucks here tomorrow every day there's a different food truck it's insanity oh there's the non guy he's taking a stretch he deserves it man that is good non there's a different food truck here I could eat here every day for a week and it'll be different food. And I could come back the next week and they'll be here, but there's lots of like, there's trucks I didn't even eat at yet. I told the chef uh, it was really delicious. Oh man. All right, this is an epic meal. There's the round three. All right, I'm not even taking stuff back because Kanai ate and she said she doesn't want it and I can't eat it. And that would just be a waste of food. The best thing for me to do at this stage is to come back again and eat and see what happens the next day. Just out of pure curiosity. All right, you know what? Out of just pure curiosity, I wonder what's here tomorrow. Don't you? I wonder what's here tomorrow. If not, I'm gonna hide behind this sign. Hold on. It's not a wind. I'm gonna hide, duck down behind this sign. All right. All right. I, I, I'm just out of pure curiosity. I'm, I'm, I'm curious about the, the food offerings for round two tomorrow. What do you think? Uh, do you think I should sound off in the comments after this video ends? Should I come back here tomorrow just to see what they got? Should I bring Leo and Kanai and just have a family outing here? Are these people going to be here? I miss them already. I miss them here. So what should I do? Oh man, that chicken's coming back. That chicken is not happy about the dessert. Ah. All right, so leave me a leave me a message below and this can be we can continue our food truck adventure. Not good for I'm probably pick something healthier tomorrow. A resounding yes. Really? And we had, we had comments saying that they were more excited about this than the entire Olympics live streams together, which is somewhat sad for me, but that's okay. 30 minutes for $2.30 for 30 minutes parking here. It's not too bad. 
Freaking so, okay. Oh my gosh, it's like I'm doing squats with 50 pounds on my back. All right, so according to you, I'll read the comments later, but I might be back here on, on tomorrow, which is Thursday or Friday, okay? So I'll pick you the Thursday or Friday. The interesting thing with this, this, this food truck place is called um, Tea Lunch, which is short for truck lunch. And uh, this spot is, is run by a company called Mellow, I believe. They have a couple other tea lunch areas around the city of Tokyo. This is the closest to me. And I guess these guys go to another place. I'm gonna, I guess, come back Thursday or Friday and see what offerings they have. It depends on the weather. It's supposed to rain. Um, so we'll see. But I'll be back again this week. It, it, the hours are, are um, just for lunch. They're gonna be closing soon. They close at two. So it's 11.30 to two, which is great for the live streaming. So I'll try to come here a little earlier, maybe at 11.30. Uh, yeah, um, that's still within the margin of, of people still awake in the United States for that. Uh, on the East Coast, 10.30. So tomorrow or the next day, okay? It just depends on the weather. I'm curious what they got here, right? What, what kind of foods do they have? Is it gonna be Japanese? Are they gonna have some American fare? Is that poutine truck gonna be here? Shane, Danny, we got all our, our Canadians, Mr. Das, we got a lot of Canadian viewers. I wanna show you that poutine truck. I will, I will order it again just to see if it's consistently bad for science. We appreciate all your videos, John Ritz and Cobra Bebop. Cobra Bebop, we appreciate you too. Thank you. I look, I would have ended the live stream, but I, it, I, my, my hand is so heavy. It's hard to get to the, to the termination button. I can't do it. You know what? I'm going to have to ride around an extra five, 10 minutes just to, to kind of burn this off and I got to get another tea. Maybe they'll have ramen here. I've seen ramen food trucks too. Carrie writes in, walk it off. I'm going to write it off and then walk it off. I'm going to go to a different area. I got to get back. I got to finish an edited video for the Olympics. And by the way, the postcards are going out um, either tonight or tomorrow. Uh, I just got them in. It's pretty cool. This is the, it got damaged here. This is the um, Nihonbashi Olympic rings. Um, and Nihonbashi on its own, I was going to make a postcard for it, but it was so boring. But with the Olympic rings, it's kind of interesting. And these Olympic rings, I believe, are not here anymore. Uh, they they left on August uh, 8th. So I got a chance to take take a picture of it. It captures, um, you know, like families, people wearing masks, the taxi, and then parts of the bridge, which is very historic. Uh, this is going in the mail tomorrow, and it's got a limited edition Tokyo 2020 stamp on it, okay, people? So you can get that on Patreon. Start your collection. All right, I gotta go. I gotta actually put the stamps on this postcards. Oh gosh, there's so many of them. All right, it's a good thing. Firework. Oh, and the Nagano Fireworks is happening. Uh, November 3rd is the date of the uh, launch. So we start the Kickstarter campaign for this in September. Uh, I have an assistant who's gonna be helping me with this and I'm ramping up everything. So I know it's been a long time coming. Twitch, Nasha Bra Twitch, I can say it again. Um, you know, Kickstarter project, main channel uh, uh, episodes, all this is coming back online. It's just, uh, um, thanks for bearing with me through some pretty tough, tough months. The state of emergency canceled all my shoots for this month, all of them. Had one with uh, up in Tohoku too canceled, so um, it's kind of it's it's been kind of a little bit depressing because there's not much I can film um, with permission and bring you access on the inside. But uh, I'll go back and do it. You know, I'll I'll go back and uh, and start to do it. I think with with both the shots and uh, with uh, the Delta maybe simmering down with the Olympics over, people staying home more. I'll get the invitation to go out and film these episodes. It's part of work. See everybody. I'll be back here in a couple of days for more food truck. Or maybe tomorrow. I'll, I don't know. Depends what's here. How do you know what's here? I think there's got to be a website. Bye, guys.